Um, sometimes it's so facile and it really is just a kind of uh, uh, projection of um, our own surface uh, intentions or needs or cravings. Um, so for me, what's really important, Julia, is, um, is as I lean my imagination toward the otherness even of a patch of lichen, um, really trying to feel into the otherness of the other, into who are you? What is your way in the world? And how is it not just different from mine, but even different from anything I can imagine? So in my encounters with things, with others, with aspen groves, with squirrels, with a spider weaving its web, um, I'm always listening closely for what surprises me, what takes me by surprise or sometimes shocks me as I'm gazing this arach arachnid as she's spinning her web, I suddenly find myself falling down into this entirely different scale of experience and seeing the, the world around me as way bigger, way vaster. And then I know, okay, I've been taken. I, something has snagged me and taken hold of me. So it's not just my nervous system uh, projecting itself into the world, but some other nervous system or style of experience has taken hold of me and is gripping me. And I'm always listening for that and looking for that. So yeah, uh, a sort of what you're calling anthropomorphism can be a way in that is identifying with our body and knowing that our animal human body is our access to all the other creatures and to the plants and to the stones and to the winds and the weather patterns. Um, and yet these are all other shapes of embodiment, each of them experiencing the world weirdly differently from the way I experience it, the world and each one experiencing me from its own angle and style. And that's what I'm curious about, yeah.